Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today let's try to understand the recently announced 20 lakh crore economic stimulus and what it really means to India. After going through almost two months of complete lockdown and isolation, India's initiative to value its citizens' life over the economy may surely have slowed the spread of the virus but has also left the economy in shambles. The two-month shutdown had put brakes on most of the industries in India and although industries like the manufacturing, construction and financial institutions have taken significant damages, the real problem lies for the medium and small enterprise. You see, India is a big country with even bigger population. What this means is that India has a larger base of people that it needs to sustain and when institutions and industries start shutting down, the livelihood of people directly starts getting affected. Now, India's economic structure consists of mainly three sectors. Agriculture, which consists of 15.4%, industry, which contributes to 23%, and service sectors, 61.5%. Now to point, the service sector contributes the largest to the India's growing economy with a whopping 61.5%. And this sector consists of mostly small and medium-sized enterprise, which directly provides services to big manufacturing industries whose products range from traditional to high-tech items. Now on a side note, India accounts for the largest MSME base in the world after China. And as per official estimates, there are about 63.05 million micro-industries, 0.33 million small and about 5,000 medium enterprises in the country. Now what separates these industries from each other is the investment made and the turnover it generates. But here's the problem. These industries are already struggling for over a decade now. Demonetization, GST, red tape and now the virus have crippled this sector. In fact, they've largely been real reliant on banks and new loans to tide over this unending crisis. Now with the undergoing crisis, the fear that most of these companies defaulting on its problem loans becomes a real problem. Think of this, you're carrying a very cumbersome load in your back and you're barely managing to keep up. Just then, Another huge load gets added to your back. Now what do you do? Yeah, you break down and fall. That was the situation of our MSME sector. With the lockdown in place, this sector was crumbling down and it's pending loans with the possibility of defaulting. Until the government finally announced a 3 lakh crore worth of collateral free loans for the MSME now. Now MSMEs can extend new loans and have 4 years to pay this loan with the government standing as a guarantor in case you default. Pretty good deal to stay afloat but just for now. Now that was one of the 5 different phases the stimulus package is distributed into. The first one that was explained just now was the MSME sector. Day 2 presented the issues of unsung heroes of our society. Yes, I'm talking about the farmers, construction site workers and the street vendors. With the lockdown in place, India's unemployment rates seems dwindling. In a recent CMIE report, the Indian unemployment rates have been hovering just above 24%. This accounts to the massive job losses at sectors like the construction and industrial sectors. What we need to understand is that these are people who require the daily wage to meet the ends meet and with work shut these people were struggling for resources and started migrating but the migration unveiled alarming numbers of people moving to villages you see migration creates a problem we all know the state of ruler india people still live in poverty and some of these places still reel with existential crisis now when people start adding up it also adds up the pressure to feed this new set of people in these areas where there is already a problem. So the government had to come up with something to solve this issue and came up with 30,000 crore worth of working capital loans to help the farmers kickstart their work. Also, 
farmers will be able to borrow up to 2 lakh crores from banks at concessional rates in the future. Now the migration also poses a new threat to some industries like the real estate and construction industry. Keeping in mind that these migrants won't be returning soon, the demand for laborers may shoot the cost high, creating huge losses for these sectors. So the government came up with something to keep the boat afloat. What the government did was it initiated money for migrants allowing them free food, rental accommodations were made affordable, loans were sanctioned for the poor where avail loans up to 50k is charged with just 2% of interest for 12 months. And although this scheme was implemented to keep the migrants from moving, I'll leave the debate on whether this is questioning some of the humanitarian rights for you guys to discuss because honestly, it's complicated. And oh, speaking of complicated issues, the government also allocated funds for street vendors, a special scheme that allows street vendors to avail 5,000 crores loan facility and a working capital loan of rupees 10,000 to keep them going. But again, there's a problem. You see, only 13 lakhs of these street vendors seem to have licenses to avail to these loans. The rest, that is the millions of vendors which actually comprise of the real poor are still left with problems. Hopefully, the government will find a way to reach to these people. So this was part one, explaining the economic stimulus with the focus on just the MSME sector and the migrant laborers. Part two of this video will talk about the new reforms and new measures that are implemented for the larger sector of the industry and how these new policies may change the outlook of India in the future. So stay tuned for the next video and get a complete overview on this current issue. For now, I'll have to say goodbye and if you liked our content, please smash the like button and while you're at it, also hit the subscription button down below. I'll come up with more content. Until next time, bye.